Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Timu haul. Now it doesn't look like there's much here, but let me say, Timu can work some kind of magic when they're packing up a bag because this bad boy has all kinds of goodies up in it, okay? So I have a bunch of, um, well, I'll just show you guys, how about that? First of all, I just wanna let you know, I did go through price everything I'll let you know the prices and I will link every item down below in the description box. Also, if you guys like me and my content, but you haven't yet subscribed for some reason, go ahead and hit that subscribe button today because we are getting closer and closer to that 40K and I'm going to have an awesome jewelry giveaway. So yeah, let's do this thing. I'm going to set it in the floor and just grab and growl and show you guys what I found. All right, so I do have a few different little items in here for um, like the the Christmas bags for the guys and stuff like that. Um, this right here, though, however, is not that. This was four ninety four, and this is the Roniki gel polish. But this is the um, the Mirror Shine manicure starter tip. It is the base coat and the top coat. Um, and that's the kind that you put under the UV light. I was run, I was kind of sharing mine with Fifi, and I was thinking, you know, because those bottles were pretty tiny, and I was thinking, we are going to run out pretty quick, um, so I better order some. So these bottles actually are pretty good size. So this is the top coat. It is the UV LED, and you have to soak it off. And then this is the base coat here. And like I said, they're pretty good sized bottles, way bigger than the ones that I already have, um, 10 milliliters. So yeah, I definitely needed these. Okay, there's that. And then let me show y'all this. So this is a sun visor cell phone holder. So if you guys watched my Dollar Tree haul from yesterday, um, you will have seen that I'm using a new um, holder for my phone. And it's on my rear view mirror. And 95% of you guys said yes. That's a great view. I did have a couple saying no. You're too close. You're too close to the camera. Not a good view. I see the roof and all this stuff. Um, so I'm probably going to leave it there. Because the majority of you guys like that view. And I like that view too. So um, this is just something else that might help. Guys, like if you are into filming of any kind or if you just need a place to hold your phone, this right here was a dollar eighty-four. Okay. You cannot beat their cell phone paraphernalia, basically. Um, so basically it comes with this that's gonna hold your phone really good. And these little green things up in here, they are rubberized to keep it from slipping around. And then I just can't believe the price of this. Like a dollar eighty-four is really something great. And I love having a big collection, honestly. So basically, um, we have this right here. And this is what the cell phone actually goes on. I think this is going to be fabulous. So this is what goes over your visor. Like this big clip, you just slide it on your visor. Um, and you probably, I don't know, let me, let me see how this, oh, this thing is fabulous. Um, so you can move this, this little piece here around different ways all you gotta do is press those two silver buttons in i cannot believe the price of this it was fabulous and then also you can move this thing so you can basically set this any way you need to set it and this is brilliant let me just say this right here that you lift up and slide over your visor it does have some little rubberized grips in there can y'all see them so it's not going to slide off of your visor um you could even put it on your passenger side visor and have this hanging down low like if you wanted to take people through a drive you know for fall fall leaves and stuff like that fall foliage um yes i'll be getting a lot of use out of this also it has this right here that you um t you can unloosen it and you can slide this bad boy up like i mean you can make this really work for you no matter what your needs are i can't wait to fool around with this thing it's going to be great it'll be great for my mukbangs <laughs> i know all of you guys don't like them but i know a lot of you guys do so there's definitely more on the way because i like them okay so there's that dollar 84 
I'm still surprised. Oh, let me put this back in here. I'll end up losing a piece. Okay. So next, and this, let me, let me try to get both of them. Okay, I got both of them. I want to show you one. So the man bag thing that I'm doing for the three guys um, at Christmas time. Um, I'm not doing the exact same things in all of the bags. So these two items I got for the boys, but I might end up getting one for my hubby too. Um, and it was $1.71. And sorry, not sorry about the wrapping, okay? So let's unwrap it and I'm gonna show y'all what it is. If you know what it is, let me know. It looks um, weird, let me just say, okay? See the balloonish type thing? It looks weird, right? You're like, what are you getting your kids? But let me just say, it's a slingshot. <laughs> so basically you unscrew this in here, okay? And you get the little silver steelies. And I think that would be better than rocks unless you have like really smooth rocks. So you drop you a steely or a smooth rock in and you get it back here and you pull it back and you let it go. So I don't know how good it's going to work, but for $1.71, I thought it was something that they could have fun with and just try out, and it might be super good. So I don't know. You pull it back, and boom, it comes right out the hole there and hopefully hits whatever you're shooting at. It might be a good thing to have in a bug out kit. You know, you might could kill a squirrel. Sorry, guys, if, if you're not into killing squirrels. Okay, but if it's for survival, right? If it's for survival, it's, it's okay okay guys let's let's move on anyway they had those in the blue and the black so let's see what else we got okay so this is just a little fidget thing and I get them because I like to try them out it was two dollars and 36 cents and let me show y'all what it does and I'm not 100% sure how to get it rolling I know it has a okay so it has a ball in it let me show you guys the ball which would be really good to, to shoot out one of those things. But basically, here's what it looks like, okay? It's open on the inside, so your goal is to put it down through here or somewhere, maybe just in here, and get the move your hand in a way that the ball is going on around the little thing. But it falls out easy, so you got to really know what you're doing. Because Can you see it? All right, so... Hey, first time. Actually, it's not the first time when I priced this stuff. I took it out and I couldn't get it going at all. So it's kind of amazing to me that showing you guys, I got it going on the first time. So basically, the goal is not to lose your ball, for one thing, and just to keep it going, I guess, for as long as you can. It's just kind of a little brain game or something. I don't know. But I think I thought it was cute and I love fooling around with stuff like that. And the family does too, honestly. And it would also be a cute little thing to put in you know, stockings or bags or something. I am starting for Christmas, guys. Y'all know. Okay, so here's another little item for my phone. It was $1.98. And let me show y'all. This is a really good deal. Although I did think it was going to be a little bit bigger. But for $1.98, I am definitely not complaining. Because I did have one of these things. And um, I would use it like in my car. You can actually bend these little guys here to wrap it around your steering wheel. Or what I usually did typically is use it to hold the camera without trying to hold it with your fingers. And, you know, just basically getting your finger in the way of the camera or whatever. Um, you screw this thing on and then you put your phone in here and it's basically, you could use it for a selfie stick, um, but you could just kind of hold it out this way, you know, and get shots. Um, or if you're walking somewhere, instead of trying to hold your phone, this would be a great way, you know, just to walk with it. It will make like the walking look steadier and you don't have to wait, worry about like getting your finger in the way or accidentally cutting it off trying to hold it. Um, so it's just another little tool for my big bag of phone holders and stuff, which I love each and every one of those, let me just say. What am I do with that? Okay, so next, this, and as you can see, I don't have my watch on again. I don't know what my deal is. Honestly, I don't even know where my watch is. I think it might be behind my bed, possibly. I don't know. I took it off the other night for some reason, and I laid it behind my bed, and I haven't seen it since. So, um, it's for the watches, you know, the little charms that go on your watches. I hauled a adorable little sugar skull the other day and put it on for you guys. So, I can't really show y'all these, but I'm going to show y'all these. 
uh, if you if you get my drift. So, wait a minute, what are these? I mean, I know what they are, but hold up. Oh, I see. Well, this is cool. Okay, so these were two sixty nine, guys. So they're Halloween phone. Like this one right here slips over your band, and this is something that I've never seen. Um, as far as the phone charms go, these will actually slip in your little your little holes you know that you buckle buckle your phone on or your watch on with not your phone your watch um so these i'm gonna put it back on here so y'all can see it better i love this little witch's hat and there's a little spider web and the spider so definitely adorable halloween themed so isn't that adorbs i love that and for the price let me let me just say whenever i do get my watch out and put it on there i will put pictures over on instagram um so if you're not following me on instagram it's twisted gypsy 32 go check me out and you can see pictures of different little personal item things that i do over there more family stuff and stuff like that okay so i got one pack of nails and i'm thinking about putting them on today um these were a dollar 98 and look Oh my gosh, no, I'm not putting them on. I'm totally going to save these until, if y'all know what I'm talking about, I've got earrings to match. I've got these two really boho, groovy 70s or 60s dresses that have these kind of flowers on them. And it would be so perfect if I wore these nails when I wear one of those dresses. Like, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to save these until I actually plan on wearing one of those. I'm thinking a fall festival or something with some boots and I think it's going to look really cute. So there's that. And then I got this for my hair and I can't wait to try it out. I was actually wishing that I already had it out so I could do my hair with it today. Um, so basically, let me take it out of the pack and show y'all what it is. It was only 94 cents and Here's what it looks like, guys. So, I know it looks freaky. It's a comb thing, and it has this little bump thing here. So, basically, if I were going to wear my hair like this, I would, before I put my hair up, um, wait, there's, there's, okay, Jeez, I'm not sure. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the pack. Let me look at the pack, because it actually shows you exactly what to do. Let me show you a little picture of how your hair will look. So, you know how some people like wear their hair up on top a little bit. I love that. Usually, though, I would have to wear a bumpet, which this is cheaper than a bumpet, or um, tease it to get that bump in the middle. But y'all see that? That's what this comes from. So, you would put it in, and then I guess pull your ponytail over top of it, and it's automatically going to create the bump in there. Okay, and it gives detailed directions. So you pull your hair down, you slip that in, and there we go. So I'm excited to try this. So you'll probably be seeing me wearing this in the next video or two because I think it's genius, and I hope it's as easy as it looks. Okay, next. Okay, so this was $2.92. And it is a 10 ring bundle. And let me just say, these are really cute. Um, they are all different sizes. Not, not all. There might be two one size, two another size. But these are really great. And I feel like these would be great if you're a reseller and sell stuff like this. Like in your shop or whatevs. Um, but you know me and rings. Like definitely something that I would love. So I'm just going to hold up each one and show you guys. I'm not going to put it on. So that looks sort of tiger eye-ish. This one though, look at the bling. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, I should wear that today. I feel like it matches me. Um, we have this one. We have this one that looks kind of jade-ish. Okay. We have this one that looks kind of opalescent, sort of. We have this one that looks like um, it's like a crystal-ish. This one is so fall looking to me. And look at the sparkle. I love this. This one is kind of clear. Do they all have the same size? No. I think they all, like, they have different sides as well. Can y'all see that? 
different sides. I'm not crazy about the color of that one. Um, this one is definitely beautiful. Beautiful. And then last but not least, we have this one, which I know is some kind of a gemstone, but I can't place it. Maybe some kind of agate. Um, but I love these, and I think they're gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I have this basket here that I use all the time to put my rings in when I take them off of the evening time. Um, and this is just some of my rings, guys. Y'all know. Um, so I'm just going to drop these down in here. And then whenever I'm looking through these rings, I will see these and get them out and use them. So, yeah. Okay. There's that. And 282 for 10 rings. And I tried them all on. They fit different fingers. I've got some for the pinky, some for this one, some for this one, and some for this one. So, yeah. They're great. And they had 20-piece sets, too, so I didn't do that. Um, okay, guys, $2.82. Can you guess what's inside? Uh, I don't know. Okay, it looked nice. I mean, it's nice, but it looked nicer on the website, and I'm like, oh, I need that. It's a harmonica, guys. Do I know how to play a harmonica? No, I don't. But I've always loved just kind of fooling around with them. Um, and it has like the, the little scale, 1 through 10 on there. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a metal, but I think it's more of a plastic. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm um, probably, I, I don't know, maybe I'll look up a YouTube video and learn how to play the harmonica. But honestly, I think I may order these for the guys, um, at least my son's bags. Maybe my hubby too. I don't know. Who, who doesn't have their inner child wanting to play with a harmonica right it's like all about your inner child so that's why i got it and they have different colors and that's a good price too so i think it's a good idea i'll be ordering more okay here let's see i'm gonna wait on that till i find my other one okay guys so i ordered two different packs of stickers i'm gonna show you the first pack a dollar 22 for 50 pieces of absolutely awesome stickers. So these stickers are all in like bottles with corks, okay? So it's funny that this one popped up first. Look at that. Okay, see what I mean about a bottle with a cork? Okay, so I didn't get it for the dinosaur, although I'm glad I have a dinosaur one because, you know, Ricky loves dinosaurs, but my grandson, um, but yeah. So, these are all, I'm, just, I'm not going to show you all of them, guys. I'm just going to show you a few. Okay? This is cool, I think. Okay. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> Panda underwater. Um, this is cool. I love the cactus. Is it cactus or cactuses? Uh, cacti? Cacti, I think. Look at that. I love these. So this is cool too. Let me show y'all that one. I love it. And whatever's behind here, I'm going to show y'all. Ooh, skulls. Y'all know I love me some skulls. Okay, so 50 stickers. These are great for your planners, for your, um, your journals, just for your notebooks that you write recipes down in, whatever, whatever you'd use that's paper or not, these are awesome. So I'll have a huge collection and I love each and every one of them. Okay, so I got this pair of earrings, guys. It was $1.79 and let me just tell you, they are, they, they have magnetic energy, okay? And they're gonna help me lose weight and help me sleep better, okay? So let me just say, um, why haven't I, if I would have just found these years ago, I would already be skinny, right? Why has it taken me so long to find these earrings that's going to make me lose weight, right? Without doing anything except wearing the earrings. Can I just say these earrings are really pretty? They have different colors. Um, but this one I think is the clear, although it looks a little purplish. I love these. I mean, I think these are gorgeous. Um, and they're going to help me lose weight. So, I mean, this is kind of a no-brainer. So, if you guys want to lose 20, 40, 60 pounds, grab a pair of these earrings and don't worry about it, okay? 
Like, I'm totally putting mine on after this video. I'm going to be 20 pounds down by the end of the day. Okay? Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's see what else we got. Okay. So, this is something that I got for the boys' Christmas bag things. Um, those bags are going to be awesome. They're definitely going to be different. These were 89 cents each. And I think both of them will like these. So... Let me show y'all. So this is the thing, um, like if it's cold out or if you're, you know, whatever you're doing, you put this over your face and it goes around your face and around your neck to keep your neck warm. And maybe you're hunting or hiking and it's cold, you know, but it's just that, you know, the skull, the half skull face, which I think looks pretty cool. I don't know if my hubby would want one or not, but I definitely think my boys would like them. So definitely putting these in their little kits. So for 89 cents, like there's so many different little unique items that you can get off of Timu to make the most interesting, unique little packages, you know? So like for Christmas, like I'm going for it. And then I got this, which I, I hope this works because I think it would be amazing. So it was $2.69. And this is the Magic Remover. So it is to put on your gel nails, um, you know, after, when you're ready to take them off. You know how usually you have to soak them with a cotton ball and the acetone nail polish remover and then scrape it all off and all that fun stuff. Which mine, for some reason, usually peel off when I'm ready. So I don't know. Um, but this is, to, this is like to skip the step of the alcohol and the cotton balls, and it's supposed to make it bubble up all on its own. So, we'll see if it works. I don't know. We'll see. It seems too good to be true, but, you know, sometimes if it seems too good to be true, it's not. It's, it's still good. So, yeah. All right, let's see what else I got. Speaking of nail polish, so this was 89 cents, and I am just getting, like, all kinds of different things to go with my nail polish and nail polish paraphernalia collection and this is to sit on your table or like I have this little desk type thing that I usually sit in my lap and sit right here and do my nails um, it holds your bottle of polish so it's not sliding all over the place or as I've actually had happen before slide off and spill before you can actually get to it you know so this is kind of a suction cup type thing you put it on there and you suction it to the thing and then you put your nail polish in here and it's not going anywhere so they have th I don't know if they had different colors or not but that bubblegum pink is pretty cute so yeah so that's one of my nail polish collection and then let me show you my other stickers a dollar 29 for 50 Guys, you just can't beat that, honestly. And you could put these in cards, like if you send cards out or, you know, whatevs. Like, you could do so much with these. Um, if you guys don't know, I do drive a Jeep. And I love things with Jeeps on it, which a couple of my next items are going to be as well. But these are Jeep stickers. And I'm hoping they have a nice blue one, like my Jeep. But I'm not sure. I'm not seeing one yet. So I'm just going to hold a couple up just to show you guys. Here's like the front of the Jeep, but I love because it has the mountains. These stickers would really be good if you did like a travel journal or an activity journal of, of you know, different things that you do. Um, this says Jeeping it real instead of keeping it real. Um, this is kind of multicolored. <laughs> that one's kind of risque, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to read that one. Um, let's see here. This one I like. It just says Jeep with the two hearts. Um, four by four. This one. There's a lot of different ones. I was just going to go through. This one is great. A purple Jeep. That's what I was wanting before I got my blue Jeep, but now I love Gypsy Blue. It says a little dirt never hurt. So, do I see a blue? I see a green. Red. Let's see. I like this because it says Wanderer. Dirty Road is calling. How about Dirty Roads are calling? That'd be better. Dirty Road. Um, this one's kind of blue, but it's too... No, it's purple. Um, I was going to say it's too dark. 
My Jeep makes me happy. You, not so much, it says. <laughs> Jeep, let's see. I don't see a blue Jeep, guys. I don't see a blue Jeep, but that's okay. They are still really cute. And there's a lot of black and white. Maybe I'll color one blue, right? Why not? Think outside the box. Okay. And then my other things that I got for pertaining to the Jeep. Um, so if you know about Jeeps, they do this thing called ducking other Jeeps. Um, and it's kind of a fun thing. You know, sometimes you'll get back from the grocery store and there'll be a duck on your door handle. Like this kind of duck. And it'll say, nice Jeep and all that. And there's like a whole Facebook thing and stuff. I usually don't post mine um, when I get ducked. But I do put them up in my, my the front of my, you know, my windshield thing. So, that's always fun. And it's always fun. Like, sometimes me and my hubby will be out. Or me and Jack will be out. And we like to duck a Jeep if we're close to one. Sometimes we might just go on a mission to duck like five Jeeps, you know. In the future that's why this right here is cool so this was ten dollars and fifteen cents and you get 25 ducks in here but one of the things about ducking is you um you put a tag around its neck now i was going to open this show y'all a couple of these ducks but you put a tag around their neck and say you know it usually says nice jeep you've been ducked or something like that um, but let me pull a couple of these ducks out just so we can kind of see them. I always try to put the same color of duck on a Jeep of that color. So this one's cool. Check this out. It's like a little Minecraft duck or something or a Lego duck. A giraffe duck. I've always thought the giraffe ducks were adorbs. Um, so there's just a bunch of different ducks. A Dalmatian duck. So there's all kinds. I'm not going to pull them all out because there's 25 but you take the duck and then you take something like this so this is what i got i'm going to take out the little thing so it comes with rubber bands that actually go around your ducks your ducks and there's 35 of these 35 pieces so basically it says on the front it says you've been ducked okay and on the back it says you've been ducked life is an adventure enjoy the ride we hope this duck gave you a smile, and it does give the Facebook hashtags, hashtag duck duck jeep, and hashtag ducking, well, almost cussed, ducking jeeps. I felt like I cussed, but I didn't. It was ducking. But anyway, you can put, like, um, from Twisted Gypsy, and, you know, if you see, like, a lot of people see my jeep in town or whatever, or even if you're out of town, and they will see, you know, who ducked them or whatever. Or you can just put a smiley face, you know. You don't have to put who it was. So, I love these. And I think they're really cute. And let me just say, you guys, one of you guys sent me the links to these. Because um, you guys send me a lot of the stuff that I end up buying, okay. And and I appreciate that because you guys know what I like. And y'all know, know that I have a Jeep and that I am into the ducking. So, I appreciate that. Whoever sent that, I think it was more than one person, honestly. Okay, let me see. I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty here. Let me see what else I've got. Oh, I got a dupe. Okay, guys, I have a dupe. I'm going to save the dupe for last because it's quite remarkable, okay? It really is. Um, so, this was $1.18, and I was thinking I had one more thing, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, this was $1.18. Um, and this is to play tricks on your grandkids, okay? I mean, like, you can play tricks on anybody, but I got it for the grandkids. Like, if you guys remember, oh, this thing's ugly. Um, I, oh, I know I have something else. Hold on. Hold on. I absolutely know I have something else. Maybe it's still in the bag. I don't know. What did I do with it? Okay, hold. Found it. Okay, so... This right here is, it's like a spring load. Okay, I'm not going to put it all together because it will take a minute. Let me put it together. Okay, guys, so it doesn't look 100% real, but if you do it in a fast motion, nobody's going to know. So it looks like a pack of gum, right? And like my last one that's supposed to give you a little shot did. Um, so this looks like a pack of gum with a piece of gum sticking out, right? So what you do is you go grab that piece of gum, you know, just really fast. And they're not even going to think about it. They're going to be like, 
you know, grabbing that piece of gum because it looks like a piece of gum. And when they grab it, ah, it's a roach. Oh my gosh. It's going to be hilarious. Okay. Like I know the grandkids are going to fall for it. Um, unless Jack watches this video, I might not get her. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, ew, don't it look gross? Oh my gosh. It looks realistic. So anyway, for the grandkids, once again, and then I got one more little thing here to trick them with. Uh, I love playing pranks on them, and why not? Even the kids, right? Goodness knows they tortured us enough growing up, you know? Now it's time to do a little torturing. So this right here, and I'm going to have this on when Jack comes home because I want to get her. Um, so I don't know how, how realistic this looks, but like I said, it's all about the quick glance. I'm going to be like, we got to go. We got to go. I got this nail in my finger. And, you know, if you just glance at it, you see the nail. You see what looks like blood. And you see a bandage. So, let's go. You know, it's all about how good of an actor you are. And, yeah, that's that looks kind of real, right? If you didn't know any better, boom, it's real. Right? Halloween's coming up. It's the season of pranks anyway. So, it was cheap. Um, I think I got rid It was... I think it was under a dollar, so I just thought it was cool. <laughs> I'm crazy. I like that, I guess. I don't know. All right, this is something for my phone. Um, $4.98. Now, this is a little bit more expensive, and it does have a few more little items in here, so I don't want to lose nothing. Um, but this, I'm just going to basically explain. This is to wear on your head. I think this would be a great thing for when we're squatching, honestly. Um, and it's to wear on your head to put your phone on so you'll have your phone like basically on your head so wherever you look you won't have to you know you it automatically looks and nobody will have to worry about holding the phone you know we'll have our hands free to hold you know weapons or you know, what whatevs like our, our backpacks our listening devices our um, infrared goggles and, and stuff that we use, our flashlights. So basically, hands-free, pretty awesome. Um, so I'd, I'll have to put it together and all that stuff, but yeah. Um, also, like if I am riding a bike, I'm sure I can make this fit my helmet. You know, that would be a great view for, like if I'm doing a fall foliage, e-bike ride through a national forest or something like that. I do have ones that go on my bike, but, and my chest, like the chest cam, but I feel like this one would really be better. I don't know. So we'll try this out too. And let me just say, the leaves are starting to turn. The underbrush and stuff is already starting. And with all this rain we've been getting um, and the cooler temperatures, it's really going to go mad out there fast. So I definitely want to do a few rides because I live in West Virginia and we get a lot of gorgeous fall foliage. So I like to show you guys that don't really get to see it. You know, a lot of you guys live Arizona and stuff like that. Not that y'all don't get to see it out there. I don't guess. I don't really know, honestly. So anyway, there's that. And let me show y'all the final thing, which is a dupe. Okay. I, this right here blew my mind. I actually had to look it up for my hubby. So, cause I wanted him to see it. And it's amazing. So this dupe is a Marc Jacobs, okay? Um, it looks just like it. Okay, let me just show y'all. So this was $3.59. And let me just say, the real one goes for $250, okay? Let me get this open. I, I was stunned. Now, I've, I've ran across many different dupes dupe looking items okay it's not an exact and i'll tell you how whenever i show it to you i'll tell you why it's not an exact one but here it is it's a watch okay i love the zombie green um they had different colors that you could choose from and look at the face see the green it's beautiful um it says around in gold letters by mark jacobs and there's a watch by Marc Jacobs that looks just like that. Let me tell you the difference. This one, you can tell it's a fake by the green in the middle. On the real ones, they say by, by Marc Jacobs as well. It has the Marc Jacobs emblem on the green part. And this one just says it's a quartz, you know, quartz watch. 
So, but unless somebody actually gets up, you know, and looks, they are absolutely not going to know that this is not a real Marc Jacobs. So, I had to get it. Like, it is absolutely fabulous. I don't even know if it works. I didn't even think to check that. I'm just like, even if it doesn't work, if you're wearing it, you know, it's going to look cool. Especially if you are, like, you have clothes to match it, I feel like. Hold on, let me get it actually on so I can show you guys. Is that in there or not? Get in there. Get in there. Okay, hold on. Give me a moment. I've almost got it. Got it. Okay. So, it's, I mean, I'm sure the Marc Jacobs one feels a lot more expensive as well, but if you're into dupes, you know, why the heck not? I know it's upside down to you guys right now, but check it out. Okay, let me look. Is it working? Oh, it does have the little plastic thing in there, so I'm going to pull that little thing out and see if it starts ticking. No. Okay, wait. I got to push that in. There it goes. It's ticking. So basically, I'm just going to have to set it to the correct time if I want. I mean, you know, how often will I look at a wristwatch? I don't know. I really don't know, but it's pretty fabulous. It's pretty darn spot on, too. It's spot on. Go look it up. Do yourself a favor. Go look up Buy Mark Jacobs Watch. You'll probably find a pink one like I did, and I was actually thinking about ordering the pink one, um, but check it out, guys. $250, okay? Um, that's it, guys. That is my haul. Definitely let me know what y'all's favorite item was from the haul, and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video because thumbs up definitely helps. And your commenting definitely helps, and I appreciate it. I really try to get to answering or at least liking all of the comments, um, especially within the first couple of days. Sometimes I don't, though, and I'm sorry, um, but, you know, we are starting to get more and more comments. I'll do the very best I can to, you know, comment back or answer a question. Um, so don't forget, if you're interested in any of these products, I'm definitely going to link them in the description box. Um, so... And honestly, I'll link my code there. It, it gives you a coupon bundle for however much you order. You can order a certain amount and get, you know, a coupon bundle, which you can't even use for that specific order. So, you know, if you order a lot, it'd be good to get that coupon bundle. But if you're a new user, um, the code will do a lot more for you. So if you've never ordered, but you've been thinking about it, guys, this is your sign. Do it. Um, but anyway, I'm just, I'm just loving that. Okay, guys, that's it. And thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Bye.